Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, August 15th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. We witnessed some history-making performances at the London Olympics, from Chad the Close 200 Butterfly victory to Katie Ledecky's gutsy swim in the 800 freestyle. As great as many of the swims we saw in London were, very few could match the significance that went into the final of the women's 400 freestyle relay in Montreal in 1976. On the surface, the race was a classic East versus West showdown, the Americans against the heavily favored East Germans. But the race had much more meaning than that. Throughout the meet, the East Germans had won all but one of the women's races up until that relay amid talk of that all of their swimmers were heavily doped. The evidence was there, low voices, heavier physique, and amazing finishes, but none of it was proven until the 1990s. Broken and defeated, the United States could have conceded the race to the East Germans, but that wasn't the plan. We invite you to watch the video and either relive the moment or experience it for the first time. Four times the 100 meter freestyle relay. The world record, of course, held by the fantastic East German women. Three minutes, 48.80. Here are the uh, lane lineups for tonight. In lane one, will be Sweden, the Soviet Union in lane two. The United States will be swimming in lane three, right next to the East Germans in lane four. Canada is in lane five. The Netherlands in lane six. France in lane seven. West Germany in lane eight. And all the East Germans do is lead off with Cornelia Ender. That's right. And in a relay, the lead off 100 can be a world record. Cornelia Ender, of course, holds the world record in 55.65. And she's having such a great meet so far. Fabulous. The most outstanding female in the world. But if she does lead off and break the world record, I think it's going to be pretty tough for our team to come back. The Canadians are very strong as well. So I think if I have to make a judgment, it'll be East Germany first and a fight for second place between Canada and the United States. I want to ask you about these amazing East German women. Uh, what's been your impression watching them as a former Olympic swimmer? Well, I think our main problem, which I stated before, is that our women are developed through the club system. The men that develop that system are only coaching men on the collegiate level. Boys and young boys have good high school programs, good collegiate programs. Women are just starting to get involved in that. We don't have the coaches available to us. And there's a big gap, and we have a long way to go, contrary to East Germany, where the women are brought in equally with the men in every system, and it's, it's a very professional system. The state pays for it. And uh, Shirley Babishoff, for instance, contrary to that, the, re the reason why I think she continued swimming, that she had uh, the benefits of Title IX, where she was able to go on a scholarship, swim on a men's team. We wouldn't have had her swimming here. And if you look at what she's accomplished here, she swam her best time in every single event except for one, and broken world records. So she She's really swum her heart out here and has done the best job she possibly could. She uh, has won so many silvers, the goals escaped her, the individual goal, but this is her last shot now at any kind of a goal in this relay. That's right. It's the last shot for our American women to win a gold at all. It's the last time that we'll be able to say that we haven't been shut out. 1952 was the last time we didn't win a gold. And there's Cornelia Ender there thinking about the race, the leadoff swimmer. It's nice and it's best to get a lead in a relay because you've got clear water and it can really discourage the other teams. Very rangy, powerful, 170 pounds. And uh, what have you found out about their training program as you talked to them? Well, I know that they um, do high altitude training. They travel to Bulgaria four times a year and train at 6,000 feet. They travel to all over the country. They go to Leipzig, a training center where all the learning coaches come and study the team and the yeah. techniques. So it's all very coordinated in a, in a pyramid structure, and everyone's always sharing. Cornelia Ender goes around the countryside talking about swimming and her trips abroad and endorses the system. So everyone's working. All resources are used. It's very difficult to compete with that. And uh, some of them are getting on a starting block now. Some of their young swimmers are only 15, 16, and they'll be in Moscow 
in 1980. And Shirley Babishoff now, the United States relay team, will be in lane three. There's Cornelia Ender up in lane four to lead off for the East Germans to hold the world record. They'll be favored in this event. The United States has an outside chance for the goal in Canada could be a bit here. Canada will be in lane five. So USA is in lane three, in lane four, the East Germans in lane five, Canada. Four times 100-meter women's freestyle relay. And they're about ready, and then false start. That's nurse for you right there. Last event of the women's program, the East Germans have already won 11 events. They've only lost one, just like our men. There's the USTA team. Shirley Babishoff in the middle. She is going and to anchor the team. Kim Payton will lead. Wendy Bolio will swim the second 100 meters. Jill Sturkel the third 100 meters. And the anchor woman will be Shirley Babishoff. Incidentally, you won a gold medal in this event. I did, and I was I was very fortunate to be on the relay. In those but days, when you got to the Olympic Games, day. they had a tryout. And I hadn't done well in the 100 at the Olympic trials. I wound up on the relay, and I must say the two gold medals I won, uh, being a member of a relay, had such a special quality. And a lot of times you swim over your head in a relay, and I just hope our women are mad enough now that they all swim their personal best because that's what they'll have to do to be up with the East German team. All right, we're live from the Olympic pool here in Montreal. The final women's event, four times 100 meter relay. Freestyle. Kim Payton leading off for the United States was fourth in the 100 here. Cornelia Ender, of course, first holds the world record 55.65. There they go, and Ender with that great start of her jumps right out in lane four. United States second right now in lane three. Ender of East Germany in the lead. Second is the United States in Peyton at lane three. And third, lane two of the Soviet Union. Kovatko. Lubov Kovatko. Here's the turn, Donna. And watch Ender's turn. Ender, there's probably one other person that's worth it turning than Shirley Babishoff. That was Cornelia Ender, but she looked like she got a good turn there. Smooth and strong. She takes fewer strokes per 50 than the rest of the field. She's got a six feet kick, and you can see on Sir no one's sleeves that they're they're looking at her feet as the expression goes. Wendy Bolio. Wendy Bolio is one of the three American women to win medals here uh, for individual events. Wendy Bolio is third in the 100 fly. All right, Ender gave him a length lead. East Germany's in the lead. United States is second. And uh, third right now in lane two is the Soviet Union. Swimming for East Germany now in lane four is Petra Primer. 55. East Germany is in the lead. Sweden's in lane one at the top of your screen. Soviet Union in lane two. United States in lane three. East Germany in lane four. Canada in lane five. Holland in lane six. France in lane seven at the bottom of your screen. Germany. 55. 55 was a full second under the world. A 56.59. Jill Circle getting up, ready to go into the third 100 meter. And uh, picking up some time here, Wendy Bolio has picked up on the East Germans. The East Germans still in the lead. United States second in a four time 100 women freestyle relay. East Germany touches and off they go. They're in the lead, and we are second. United States is second and running here. There's Jill Sterkel skirting the water behind Andrea Pollock. Andrea Pollock. 161.95, the East Germans are swimming. I must say the United States is doing a great job. They're doing their personal best time. They're off with them. And they don't have Ender in the final leg. Babasov is already the first. Polio with a Look at this. Personal He's down in the lead. Here's an upset right now, the way it's going. Jill Sterkel has taken the lead. Here's Shirley Babishaw. She'll swim anchor in this women's four times 100 meter relay. East Germany and the United States. United States in the lead in lane three. East Germany's behind right now. Shirley Babishaw, let's look at the world record split. World record 352. We're oh, at 48. Hey. Fabulous split. She's swimming against Claudia Hampton. Hempel with six in the 100. Babishaw with fifth. It's all on her back. The whole team has been depending on Shirley Babishaw this entire Babishoff has never won a gold medal. 
Billy Babichoff in lane three. Lee Stern and Claudia Hempel in lane four. They're going to battle for the gold medal in the four times 100 women's freestyle relay. On the turn, Babichoff in the lead. But she's being contested very closely by Claudia Hempel. Babichoff in the lead. Lane three, Hempel coming on. Hempel coming on now, Babichoff spurts out. United States in the lead for the gold in the four times 100 meter freestyle relay. Curly Babichoff stays in front. Here's the drive to the finish. Babichoff hanging on, hanging on, going to the wall. And Babichoff is the winner. The United States has upset East Germany in the four times 100 meter freestyle relay. And Curly Babichoff has finally acquired her first gold medal. And what a job she's done here for the United States. A world record, 344-82. It's their time. The world record held by the East German team was 348-80. They're a happy bunch. Savasov played with 55-28 after the 800-meter freestyle. And the crowd on its feet. It's been one of the outstanding events. World records have been falling like October leaves here in this pool by the men's United States team and the East Germans, and now the United States has upset the powerful East German team in the relay. They're happy. I have never been happier to eat my words than the prediction I made right before this event. Our women were mad. They all swam their personal best. A full second over that. Babishoff swam her heart out here, and her team supported her. Winter Bolio before the event told me two days ago, I got to get the team up. I'm hungry. I won a bronze. We've got to get together. That's Kim Payton with her back to us. Wendy Bolio with the glasses, the bronze medal, and of course, Shirley Babishoff beside herself. And remember, she had just lost her close finish in the 800 meter freestyle earlier tonight, then came back to swim a tremendous anchor in the four times 100 meter women's freestyle relay. Kim and Payton. is she happy? Kim Payton and Shirley Babishoff were members of the 1972 Olympic team. Shirley won a gold medal there in the relay. She didn't ever got an individual event. But I must say that because we have the older members on the team, like Melissa Below, Kim Payton, and Shirley Babishoff, and Karen Mo Thornton, that's what held our team together. The older girls that have had an opportunity to keep swimming. What a challenge was put on by Claudia Hempel as she was turning toward the finish, 15, 20 meters out, as Shirley Babishoff held her out to touch and win. And it's an upset, a stunning upset for the United States. And Donna, you call it. Every member of that relay team did one of the best jobs of these Olympics. This race was ranked number six on Swimming World's list of the greatest Olympic races in history, mostly because of the triumph over those who felt that cheating was the only way to find success, but also because of the mental toughness it must have taken the United States team to challenge those who had beaten them so handily all week. As thrilling as the race was, it's surprising that the race has not been voted into the United States Olympic Committee's Hall of Fame after all these years. The foursome were on the ballot in the most recent vote, but Gary Hall got the most votes. We invite you to join a campaign to get this relay into the Hall of Fame. Just go to Twitter and voice your support using the hashtag 76 free relay. Our thanks to the International Swimming Hall of Fame for providing this video. You can see more videos from the Hall of Fame's vault by going to their channel on YouTube. That's going to do it for today's show. Thanks for watching.